Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello, my uh, uh, friends who are interested in watching this video. I want to show you how to how to update your um, Infinix Infinix Hot Notes S551. How to update it with uh, the latest Android Lollipop 5.1. To do the updates, you require the following software download. Following software download, you need to download an SP uh, Flash 2. You use the SP Flash 2 to to load the software, the Android uh, Lollipop, into the mobile device. You also need the Lolli Lollipop ROM. Later, we should send the download link where you get the lollipop pop ROM, and then you also need um, um, the Infinite USB VCOM driver that will allow your computer to see the Infinite phone, Infinite device. Now let's proceed. Now, before you, before you start, the first thing you will do is to do what? To install the lollipop driver yes. the uh, not the sorry not the, lollipop. the first thing you will do is to install your infinite driver now how do you do that uh, the first thing you will do before you 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 will do that you will need to go to settings i'm using with the tensor for this internet. just go to just follow my instructions go to settings then from settings you will now choose up, uh, 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 update and security click on update and security then select recovery then you now come down and select uh, and then choose uh, advanced startup so you click restart to restart the computer so the restart computer the computer will restart and then take you to to your st windows 10 startup file the later I'll show you the process involved, but already I've done the installation. So I'll show you. I will give. I will give you a write down as to how to do this thing. I'll put it. I will make a video as to how to do what to approve uh, your Windows in accepting drivers that are not digitally signed because the the Android the uh, Infinite driver is not digitally signed. Now, after you've done that, the next thing you will now do is to right-click on this PC, select properties, then click on device manager, now from device manager, just go to the top of the hierarchy, the list of your driver, just select, you, you can see your PC name, yeah, this is my PC name, Windows is, you click on it. Then you now right click on it and click choose add legacy hardware. Then say next. Select install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Click next again. Then make sure you select show all device. Then click next again. Then to now a window will now appear asking you to do what? Where you go and choose where you go and point to the infinite driver. So you click on Avdix. Now navigate, click browse to navigate to where your driver is. So look at this where my driver is. My driver is right inside my Infinix folder. That's why I kept my this inside my Infinix Ordinal Lollipop update. You can see the driver here. I will send you the download link. So where is it? Ah, that's it. You can see Infinix uh, USB VCOM driver. Then my Windows Windows 10. So definitely, because there's no Windows 10 driver, so I will use Windows 7. Which is the latest? My Windows is 64 bit. You select Windows 64. You select this, this 64 bit driver, and then tell it to open. Press OK. Let's do it again. Oh, okay, sorry. It's going. Okay, select. Press OK. Select open. Then click OK. Then you now press next. Nice. You can see down here that it's saying that this driver is not digitally signed. So. <coughs> Like I said earlier on, that fourth 
my for my, win, my windows 10 to accept this driver uh, i would love to go and deactivate digitally signed i would love to go to my windows startup to deactivate digitally signed. i will give you a lecture on that later then you click next next i have everything installed so i don't do it. just click next and click finish so you have the driver installed now the next thing you will now do is to shut down make sure you turn you sh you, you, you you shut down your infinite device then just make sure you turn down your infinite device turn it off before you connect now let's move further now the next thing i will do now is to go to go and start my sp flash 2 i will also send you the download link mm -hmm. then you come here and select the application file flash 2 to start the program So you can see it's coming up. Yes. Usually when you start you will not say it yes. It's because I've done this, I've carried out this process before. That's why I'm having all the infinite uh, update files here. Yeah. So let's allow it to run. Okay, fine. Let me just clear this because I need to explain. Now you'll be surprised. I'm wondering how did this? How did I get this information? Fine. Let's just assume. So please just ignore. You definitely will not see anything here inside your SP, uh, your SP Flash too. You understand? So for you to have all your download files, all your up the uh, uh, lollipop update file, you will need to go and select this scattered file that is included in your lollipop update now do you do that just click here scatter file navigate to where the update is please like i said just ignore what is the scatter from the window i've done this process before now this is my update look at it you can see as this is the version on to load on my phone so i will simply double click then look at the scatter file definitely you will always see the scatter file inside uh, it's the scatter file that will now do what update all of the information that is required in your phone so select the scatter file, select open, so once select open, all the, the all the files will do, will definitely do what appear here, you see it's processing now, so it's, it's downloading now. Good. So with that done, the next thing you now do is, like I said, you turn off your Infinix mobile device, plug the plug your uh, uh, USB cable into your laptop, and then plug the other end. Plug the other end, the other end into your mobile device, your Infinix mobile device. So you can see, you can hear the clear that is connected now. From the click that is connected, then I will now come here. Go down to, uh, I will come here and select download only. I want to download the driver onto this device, which is that uh, I will come here and choose download only. Mm? And then I will now click download to start the process. Let's do it again. So you click plug. Good. So the process has, has now begun. Aha, you can see that now it's downloading. You can see from the screen that it's downloading. So 
So let the process to run. Okay, good. So that's finished transferring the updates, lollipop update on my mobile phone that you can now close. Then unplug your phone and then start your phone. That's all. It's as easy as CBCD. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, just send me an email. Cheers.